the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 55, Numbers 28 to 30. Holy festivals and offerings. As Israel observed designated holy feasts, they came close to God and lived a holy life with God at the center of their community. First point. Forty years later, God now commands the manna generation. Festivals are joyful occasions in life. In Egypt, the Israel nation was not allowed to last. However, the rules in a kingdom of priests stated that they had to rest when various festivals occurred throughout the year. These festivals were designed so that the people and God could meet. At this point, the Israel nation had lived with the laws of a kingdom of priests for 40 years. But unfortunately, the Exodus generation failed to believe in God's word or rejoice in their given blessing. So once the manna generation was stabilized, God once again reminded them of his promise to give them the land of Canaan. Second point, the Exodus generation half-heartedly listened to God, whereas the manna generation wholeheartedly listened to God. The Exodus generation saw for themselves the Red Sea splitting in half. They were able to see how God in front of them divided the sea in half, so that they would be able to cross through dry land. But unfortunately, this experience did not last with them for a long time. So for the Mana generation who did not see this, they had to hear what had happened. Third point, God's command that no one walked during Sabbath in order for everyone to come together. God commanded the Israelites to labor in order to eat. God also commanded the Israelites to keep Sabbath. These laws applied to everyone, no matter what gender, status, or age. This was so that no one would be left out from being able to last as God had established during creation and for everyone to be a part of the kingdom of priests. Fourth point, God who gave everything to humans was pleased from receiving the most insignificant gift from them in return. The reason God told the Israelites to present an offering of new grain during the festival of weeks was because there was an underlying message that God would first provide three things for them before they can celebrate the day of first fruits. God first promised that he would lead them in victory in battle. God also promised that everyone would inherit some land. Third, God promised that he would send them wind and rain. As such, God commanded the people to work hard and in return, he would bless them in three ways. If they offered the first fruits of their labor, God guaranteed that they would be gifted with more abundant fruits. This was all in order for people to know that it was God who gave these blessings in the first place. Fifth point, a willing offering is the best one can offer. God gave steps for anyone to be able to offer themselves as a Nazarite. It was even better if the family of the person was also willing. The person offering had to know the exact procedures. They also had to give an offering without defect. Next, if they could not decide how much to offer 
the priest had to decide for them. But there were a few things the person had to bear in mind. The first was a quick payment. The second was offering oneself with a willing and honest mind. The third was that they could not change the content of their offering. Fourth was not to tell a lie. All in all, one had to offer with a willing and honest heart. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.